Hey guys, so welcome back to another very exciting tutorial of creating process and today we are back with our new logo design and this video we'll be designing this very classic logo design where we'll be using only two shades of color. The logo is representing two symbols, one is the hat and other is the recording disc. So this logo is basically for musical brands. So let's, to design this logo we'll first use the pen tool and create out the basic shape then with the help of uh, 3D a revolve option will be creating out this nice hatch shape then after that we'll expand it out and we'll do a little bit of tweaking and we'll add up these all these details and we'll add this stuff and finally we'll add up the text so let's begin the tutorial so to start with we'll use the pen tool and create out the basic shape so I want this shape with my pen tool because when I revolve it it will automatically form this hatch shape so I'll just uh, click here it's nice thickness this much then with the shape press I'm creating a straight line click here the height of the hat and the this portion this much and I'll just uh, give it some stroke color red and selecting this I'll increase the thickness to around let's say 4 let's check it out okay 4 that's fine now once you have made that I'll select this and go to effect 3d revolve and what I can do is I'll just go here and select isometric right or left anything and after that just preview it and you can see the hat shape you can see that so with that revolve option you can create lots of other stuff but for this I have just created all this basic this and they have make it revolved and it formed the structure like this now I need some uh, gap here so you can see it's filled I'll just go here and give some offset to around 10 let's check it out you can see the change okay now you can see I have given that hole and by uh, giving some value to the offset so this is on the way now once you have done that I'll just uh, click this before that I'll just go to perspective and give some value around 50 and click OK okay now you can see I have given that now next thing is I'll just select this and go to object expand appearance go to object expand it and ungroup it more almost twice or thrice let's check it out okay now every piece are separate now next thing is I'll just move this pieces aside so I'll just select this out select this piece let's check it out I have selected everything out I'll select this one also small one and this one this low one and I'll just move it a little bit aside so that I can delete out the rest of the surfaces which I don't need so I'll just select everything these pieces which is on the background I'll be just selecting it and deleting it. and this is the thing where we'll be taking all the stuff now next thing is I'll just do maintain the shape so to maintain the shape I'll just do a little bit of clicking here I'll just fill this up with a little uh, different color so that I can see that okay now once I've done that I'll just go in here and I'll just uh, select this with the shift press select this go to pathfinder and just m combine it for a while this making it one object now next thing I'll do is I'll just uh, select this piece this piece and I'll just move it up with the arrow key so uh, make sure we are giving some height with the cap so I'm just moving it up this much okay once you've done that I'll just select this before that I'll just select everything and unlock it Control 2 to lock the object now I'll be selecting only these pieces it's okay now next thing is I'll use the direct selection tool and select all the vertices here and deselect the vertices which is below here so with the shift press I'll just deselect these vertices which I have selected accidentally and here also I'll deselect few of the vertices if it has been selected so here it's not been selected I'll just push it up with the arrow key just push it up 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 until it touches that edges now you can see I have given that height now next thing is or unlock this Control alt 2 to unlock and now everything is different. now I'll just select this and lock this Control 2 and I'll just select these pieces and bring it on the top just push it up a little bit giving it some uh, nice distance here so I'm just giving it here also just push it up a little bit this much okay now once I've given that unlock control alt 2 and select this and what I do is with a shape builder tool I'll just click on this empty space and it will automatically fill that stuff <laughs> selecting this make it combine that's unite 
now this is one object now i'll just uh, fill this up with some black color so that i can change see the difference here now you can see it has got nice depth here also here also okay if you want to give more you can just uh select this deselect this and push it up a little bit okay like like a cap now next thing is we'll do a little adjustment here before that what we need here is we need this reflection so i'll just uh duplicate this once with the alt press just click and drag it out and i'll do this i'll i'll just combine it that's united and after that i'll just with the shift press i'll duplicate one and push it down around here and uh, let's give me some let's give some a uh, different color like red and i'll just push it down with the shape pressed you can see that okay in the middle that's all now after that selecting both the pieces with the shape builder tool i'll select this and i'll separate it out that piece i'll just select this and delete it down and we have got two pieces here the low one is red upper one should be black with the eye picker i'll just select the black color and the head portion is black so i'll just select the black color okay now you can see the basic shape i'll just give some outline to this uh, so i'll go here and give some outline color so that you can see the edges edges okay now next thing is what we need to do is we need to add this reflection so i'll just click this drag it here and place it above that and after that i'll just uh, release clipping mask and ungroup it and let me select few pieces deselect this delete it selecting it deleting it i'll just unlock okay now you can see this pieces i need this 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 okay as now rest i'll delete it out just by selecting it just select delete these pieces are for reflection so i'm just adding it so i'll just uh, deselect or delete it out everything which is not necessary here like that now once you have got that i'll select all these pieces and fill it up with white color so i'll go here and change the color to white and reduce the opacity to 50 percent now next thing is i'll do a little adjustment here i'll select this and give the opacity around 10 select these two pieces give the opacity around 40 these two pieces around uh, 30 let's check it out so once you're given that all this you can see uh, yeah it has got nice reflection here and the same way you can do little variations here also the next thing is we have added the gradient color this all now let's do the top adjustment so i'll just duplicate this Control c Control f and scale it down like this much uh, let me check the size okay we can make it a little bit smaller and with the alt press i'm just making some maintaining them some this perspective view in such a way that it has got same distance here maintaining the shape like that now i'll fill this up with the red color here and i'll select this this let me check okay before that i'll just duplicate this one more Control c Control f and i'll select these two pieces and uh, with the shape builder tool i'll just uh do is i'll just click on this and this piece is going to be separate now so i'll just select this and delete it out and now we got this ungroup this once and delete this so we got this one this one separately so there is no issue for that okay let's uh, we can increase this little bit of size from the center like a little bit this much give it some distance you can see that now now what we do is we need to add a little fill of details here this ring so i'll just duplicate this one more Control c Control f and just scale it down and place it here okay now fill this up with stroke color so i'll just change the stroke color and give stroke color to white and let's see the thickness okay how much thickness we need we need around two that's fine and let's give some things here you can see here we got thin and thick so let's give one for a while uh, and go to stroke and do some adjustment here i'll go here and give some this and you can see okay you can change it to this one and here you can see we have given that nice effect so after giving this we'll go to uh, object and expand it or go to path or outline stroke and this will convert that stroke into outline so we can ungroup this and delete the inner circle which we don't need delete select delete it 
So after giving that, I'll select this and give some stroke thickness. And around, let's see, one. Okay, so you can see that nice effect here. After that, I'll just select this one and fill it up with eye picker. Uh, white, I'll go here and select the white color like that. And we have given that white effect here also. We can select this and remove the stroke color. So we can see that effect, nice one. Okay, so next thing is we need to add these details here. So I'll just duplicate this, Control C, Control F, and scale it down with a Shift and Alt press. Just scale it down, and from here with the Alt press, I will reduce the distance here also, giving it a nice uh, equal distance from all over there. And let's uh, change the stroke color to white, and stroke thickness around let's say two. In the same way, we'll duplicate it one more. Control C, Control F, Shift Alt and Shift Press, drag in, and reduce with Alt Press. Just reduce this vertical height. We'll duplicate it one more. Control C, Control F, scale it down, and with the Shift and Alt Press, just scale, push it in. Now, next thing is we need to uh, cut from here, giving from here and here so I'll select all the three strokes this this and this and with the scissor tool you'll find the scissor tool under eraser and we'll cut from here you can see that okay we need one cut here we need one cut here we need one cut here and one here next we need a cut around here one around here and last one around here Okay, after that, we'll just uh, select this and delete out all the rest pieces from here. So select and delete it out. And we are left with all the three edges. Now, I'll select these strokes, three of the strokes, and go to stroke and give some nice effect like this. Now you can see we have given that effect. Nice uh, finishing touch like that. And you can reduce the opacity by selecting this and reduce the opacity around 80. That gives around 80. Now, after giving that, we need to give this edge nice edgy uh, effect. So I'll select this and go to stroke and give some stroke color. And let's increase the stroke thickness to around 2. Let's check it out. OK. And after that, we'll go to stroke and give some effect like this. Or maybe the first one, this one. And you can see. Here we got thick one and here the edge is reduced and after that I'll go to object, path and outline stroke and ungroup it once, ungroup it, ungroup it one more. Now select this piece separately and delete it out. Okay. So we left with this. You can see we have given the nice effect. Uh, we need to give some here also and the edges. So I'll just select this and uh, give some stroke color and go to stroke give some stroke effect like this one and increase the stroke thickness around two or maybe three let's check it out which fits more so it's looking nice now select the last piece give it some black color and you can see that it has got nice effect uh, we have given all the details before that we need to do a little adjustment here we we can increase this diameter a little bit more. So let's select this and just increase the diameter a little bit like this. Okay, and we can just uh, select this and increase the size a little bit like that and push it out a little bit like this, giving it some distance here. Now we can see that uh, here the thickness is very large. We can reduce that. I'll just select this with the Alt press. I'll just duplicate it one more and place it around here. And after that, I'll just subtract it from there. And we got that nice thin effect here. Next thing is we need to add this. So I'll just uh, select this, move it a little bit aside, and draw it with a pen tool. So I'll select the pen tool, P for pen tool. One click here, one around here giving one here and one here and let's give some stroke color like uh, black from here and 
give some stroke thickness to around 5 maybe you can increase it if you need it 6 and after let's draw out this so we will draw it with the pen tool I'll just with the help of pen tool uh, from here one click one click 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 and click we create that nice square here if we need we need to do little adjustment so with the direct selection tool we'll just uh, do the adjustments like uh, giving it some perspective view like that giving it some thin smaller portion here make it fill color okay in that way we can see the size increase it or uh, and expand it from here we need to draw a little bit few more here so I'll just with the help of click 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 one click here click here one around here and finishing it here uh, with the die selection tool let's do the adjustment in the way and giving it some perspective view like that you can see like that and we can we just push it a little bit here now once you've done that uh, we'll we add a little circle here so I'll just draw it out like that and finally we have made that small effect now after that we need to add one more here so with this uh, ellipse tool I'll just draw one more circle black one I'll just select, select these pieces and group this up Control G and now place it in the proper place like that and I'll just scale this down a little bit okay with, according to the size and I'll just select everything go to object path outline stroke the reason why we have converted this design into outline stroke is because few of the details which we have added here is in stroke form so if we scale it down it may affect on the design but the stroke remains the same so we have to convert that into outline stroke so I'll just convert it that now scale it down and you can see it will be scaling it in proportion to that outline size now once you have done that I'll just add up the text so I'll just text record re uh, with the caps lock on record -E records and the font which I using is brave you can see here B R A new era normal one so we'll be using this normal one and we'll reduce the font size to around 20 and go to character and increase the distance between each alphabets to around 1000 and now I'll just place it in the proper place so finally we have completed this very classic logo design and we have used uh, very unique techniques here so you can use the techniques and create few more stuff i hope you enjoyed tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing you can press the subscribe button for business inquiry you can check out the email address on the screen and also you'll find it on the description below so thank you